Freedom Caucus, that's a group of conservative lawmakers who often are vocal on legislation, including controversial issues like guns and abortion. But who are these lawmakers? Our Rachel Ripp is live from the State House tonight with a breakdown of what this group is all about. Rachel. Yes, Darcy JR, the according to its members, the Freedom Caucus is a group of 20 lawmakers who are the most conservative members in the state house. Essentially, it's a state version of the Freedom Caucus that exists in the US Congress. Now they say their mission is to challenge the status quo. It's been almost a year since the creation of the South Carolina Freedom Caucus. So what is it? Well, according to the group's vice chair, State Representative R.J. May of Lexington, it's a group of members with no specific set number who seek to govern conservatively and live up to their campaign promises. April Cromer, a House representative from Anderson, says she joined the caucus because her values aligned. The reason I ran is because just seeing how South Carolina is supposed to be a red state, our constituents are red, the taxpayers for the most part are red, in my area, we're ruby red. And we didn't have good representation for our values in Columbia. May says the group is invite only. After 80% of the Freedom Caucus agrees that they want a member to join, that member is in transition for a year until they're deemed an official member. Cromer says they meet about three times a week and they're increasingly involved in major debates. They recently argued against a bill banning hate crimes and this week argued against a deal to offer tax incentives to bring an electric car company to Richland County. They're outspoken on abortion restrictions and what's taught in schools. May says one of their big wins was passing a bill that banned critical race theory derived ideas in schools. But critics point out critical race theory is not part of any state curriculum. What they're seeking to do is undermine the filing documents of our nation, the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, which guarantees uh, equality under the law. They're also working to ban a bill about diversity, equity and inclusion. But other members of the House, including House Minority Leader Todd Rutherford, says that effort isn't really protecting freedom. Their voting record and everything that they've done so, so far has indicated that this is not about freedom for them. This is more about litigation. This is more about confusion. And this is more about turning Columbia into Washington, D.C. Rutherford says he's working on creating guidelines for a new, quote, real freedom caucus focused on smaller government, tax relief, creating industry and jobs instead of focusing on lawsuits. Now, according to the caucus, they say their long term goals are to eliminate the state income tax to offer universal school choice and to lower corporate tax rates. Reporting live at the State House, Rachel Ripp, News 19 WLTX. Rachel, thank you. The South Carolina Freedom Caucus is facing pushback, though, from another group with a similar name. A group of Democrat representatives, including House Minority Leader Todd Rutherford, who you just heard in that report, have launched the Freedom Caucus of South Carolina. On Twitter today, the group released a statement saying there is an attack on freedom coming from folks who claim to protect it. The Post added that their caucus will defend the freedom of all South Carolinians. In Washington, D.C., the House Freedom Caucus was launched in 2015. Former 5th District Congressman Mick Mulvaney was one of the founding members. He served as chief of staff under former President Donald Trump. Currently, Republican South Carolina representatives Ralph Norman and Jeff Duncan are members of the House Freedom Caucus.